Can I, does she want a cherry? Oh, uh, sure. You want one sparrow? It's got the stupid, the seed in it though. Okay. Here you go. What do you say? You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, so, what's your favorite reality show of all time? I don't normally watch TV, but I do love, there was a reality show that was on called Work of Art, where they just jammed a bunch of angsty artists into a room and made them make stuff for weeks on end, so that was pretty awesome. You know, my friend loves my big fat American Gypsy wedding. Mm. I might have to go up with that one, just because just of the recommend for it. It's gotta be Mantra out here. It makes no sense, but at the same time, it's the greatest fucking thing to watch. It's a tough one. I probably know that. I don't really watch that many reality shows, in all yeah. perfectly honesty. I don't know, let's just go. <laughs> the reality show of life featuring that asshole right there. I do have one. Uh, it was way back in the day, it was Survivor, I think. Does that qualify? Yeah, that's like the first. Survivor, yeah, because they're all running around fucking butt naked on the island, you know, yeah. trying to fucking capture some fruit and some oh, pigs yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fishing for fucking bullshit, you know? And... Um, I like that girls club. Bad Girls Club? Yeah. What's that one about? It's just a bunch of girls that are in a house that basically fight with each other all the time. It's just, it kind of makes me feel good that I'm not that crazy. Amazing Race Canada. America's Got Talent. Yeah, yeah, Is yeah. that one? Yep. Favorite reality TV show? What if you don't even watch TV? <laughs> I don't even enough, own a man. TV. <laughs> Is that right? I just go out and watch people on the street. Mm, that's good reality TV watching right there. Yeah. yeah. People watching. Are you worried about the uh, global uh, decline of bee population? Of course, and uh, I'm concerned personally and also our organization is concerned. We have in the past had apiaries up on top of these containers here and uh, we look forward in the future to having them back again. Most definitely. Yeah, would, uh, what's your biggest concern about that? Uh, if they die, we get less honey. That's, that's my biggest concern as well. Now that you tell me about it, you know, well, lots of Lots of populations are going instinct, you know. Maybe we should pay attention to everybody, not just the bees. But in terms of the bees, hey, look, I love honey. So, what do I say if I love honey? Like, let's save the bees? Let's save the bees, okay? Yeah. No. Yeah. Every year we have more bees than we had the year before. Really? Yes. No kidding. As far as I know, there's been no problems. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's good. And if they have if they have any diseases, they're treated right away, and there's no honey taken from that hive at all. Well, it's just uh, you know, with coming with the the overload of um, pesticides and just a lot of the chemical use, they're just screwing with a lot of nature systems, right? And that's actually something that we push is something more on the natural side, right? So what do you what do you do here? What is this? Well, we do compost teas and work with worm casting, so it's all natural fertilizers. So instead of using all those chemicals, we can use natural stuff and still get the same results without poisoning those natural systems and buggering up the ecology, right? Yeah. 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 I'm concerned because I think it reflects a lack of care for the ecology that sustains us at a very base level. And it's just uh, it acts as a really key barometer I think because they're so crucial there's uh, very few animals have that much impact over the food chain right so or creatures whatever you want to call them so I think it just is a good microcosm of the larger issue at hand when it comes to environmental stewardship I know from what I've seen that if the bees die then we technically die <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. so for me I just try to do my part I I will I mean I plant as many um, flowers that will call the bees mm -hmm. and I don't know, right? When they first come out, like in the springtime, I make sure to have like sugar water if I see some of them or whatever. Because nice. those are the things that I've read. Um, but yeah, those I don't are know. Some preventative measures you've taken? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we wanted to have an urban beehive, but in my neighborhood, you have to go and get everyone's approval first, and right. nobody else wanted it because yeah. they, instead of finding out, they were just like, no, I don't want my kids to get stung. But so, Damn. wanted to do that, but they didn't allow. Really? <laughs> Is this the real life, or is it just fantasy? Can we ever really answer that? No. I don't know. So I guess some people look at it as real life. I like that answer. Okay, well, is this the real life, or is this just fantasy? I don't know. Like, are you real? I don't know. Like, 
I don't have any reason to think it's the real world, but I do. You think, therefore you are. Uh-huh. Yep. That's all. Uh, awesome. Both. At all times. Whatever you choose. <laughs> I think we manifest our reality constantly, because all we are is energy. And when you learn to like work with that energy and attune to different frequencies, you can create, I think, in here. So maybe that sounds like a really hippie way of looking at life, <laughs> <Awesome>. but... <laughs> It's great. <laughs> How would you feel if you found out that this was all this was all a simulation? I would feel if I knew like a hundred percent, like somebody said to me, "This is hundred percent true." Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, because then you just you could create whatever you wanted. I think mm -hmm. the opposite when you're feeling like this is happening to us, as opposed to us controlling it, and I think that's more depressing. Because yeah. if you look at the world, the things that are happening in the world right now. If that was happening to us and we had no control whatsoever, it's the most depressive thought. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what, what is the rarest Pokemon you've, you've caught so far? Uh, probably a Porygon. Porygon? Late night at the plaza.